Hey, what's up you guys? It's Scott with Everyday Home Repairs. And if you've seen a few of my recent videos, you know I've been upgrading some of my receptacles. One with a wireless phone charger that's integrated. And then this one right behind me that has two USB-C ports that are integrated. And then I had a bunch of different adapters laying around the house. What I was noticing, I was getting a wide variety of how fast my phone was actually charging or the charging rate. So I tried to download a few different charging apps and really none of them gave me great results. Very inconsistent and half the time I just got no results at all. So still curious on understanding the charging rate out of all these different adapters and different cord combinations and then these receptacles I was installing, I went ahead and bought a USB specific multimeter. So this multimeter made by Klein Tools can either do USB-C, USB-A, and these are the input sides, and then you can go ahead and plug your cords into those and then measure the power coming through your adapter or receptacle and then flowing into your phone. Pretty cool little tool and seems to give really consistent results. So what I'm gonna do is test this receptacle, and this is a Legrand and it's supposed to have six amps output. Pay attention to that if you're buying USB receptacles because some of those are lesser capabilities and that's obviously gonna affect your charging rate. But I'll compare this actual receptacle to some of the traditional setups you might have around your house, like one of these guys, which if anybody's had an iPhone over the years, you got a bunch of these. So this goes to USB-A and then to a lightning port. And then a newer, adapter, which would go USB-C, then to your lightning. So I'll compare those two setups, and then the setup where I'm just plugging the cord, the USB-C, and going directly to the phone. This is what I would prefer, because then I have no adapters to mess with, it's cleaner, it's easier to use. But the question is, how fast does it charge my phone? So the meter will show voltage, amperage, milliamp hours, and watt hours, or WH. Watt hours is the main measure that I'll at least initially compare each of these three setups with. But that probably doesn't make a lot of sense. So I'll convert those down to how long would this take to charge my phone to 50%. And the phone that we'll be using is a iPhone 12 Pro Max. So I know exactly how big that battery is. All right, so let's go with setup number one. And that is gonna be Old Faithful. Probably one that you guys have around. So how fast will this charge my phone? All right, so we're done with setup number one, and that's the five watt adapter, which delivered 0.415 watt hours during the five minutes of charging. So now we'll move on to setup number two, which is a 20 watt USB-C adapter. And then we'll finish off with the last setup, which is the integrated USB-C port in this Legrand receptacle. Then taking the watt hours delivered on each one of those setups, we'll convert that to see how long would it take to charge my phone from 0% to 50%. That's a very common measure. And it should be noted that all these tests are being done on my iPhone 12 Pro Max with the battery below 50% for consistency. So let's jump in and see what setup number two can deliver. So let's see what we get with setup number two. So setup two just completed and delivered 1.63, we'll round a little bit. So it's 1.63 watt hours compared to setup one that only delivered 0.42 watt hours, almost four times as much. 
Now we have one more to go and that is just testing the last setup which will go straight into the USB-C ports within the Lagrange receptacle. But before you see the results, I would be interested to see what you think in the comments. Do you think that setup two will be a faster charging rate or going into setup three where we're going right into the receptacle will be a faster charging rate? And if you wanna even go deeper, why do you think that? Always interested to get your guys' feedback, but without any further ado, let's see what Setup 3 delivers. So you saw setup three is actually in the second position. So setup one resulted in 0.42 watt hours for five minutes of charging. Setup two equaled 1.63 watt hours, and then setup three, our final setup, equaled 0.91 watt hours. Now what does all that mean? Because that actually doesn't translate into your real world life. So let's convert those over. I know the size of my iPhone 12 Pro Max battery is 14.1 watt hours. So I'm gonna take half of that battery size because a common measure is going from 0% to 50%. So if my phone was completely dead to 50%, how long would that take to charge? So let's compare the results for the three setups and see how many minutes it would take to get to 50%. So setup one, the classic and maybe the most used out there is gonna take 84 minutes to get to 50%. Setup two using the 20 watt adapter is only gonna take 22 minutes. So a massive difference in terms of charging time. And then setup three just going directly in to the Lagrange receptacle is gonna take 39 minutes. So still pretty solid results, but not nearly as fast as the 20 watt adapter. So why? is that, why are we seeing such a massive difference? And that's around 2017 and 2018, a lot of the different phones started to integrate different types of fast charging. They call it different things, but it's just the ability to leverage USB-C and ultimately charge your battery faster. Now, fast charging has some restrictions. If your battery gets too hot, it shuts off. After 80% charge, it shuts off. But in our testing, since we are below 50% and I'm using an iPhone 12, this 20 watt adapter was able to deliver some of the benefits of fast charging. And you really saw that in the times. So that's where the difference came from. Although the USB-C integration here gave us the same current or amperage as setup two, it could not deliver the same voltage and it only delivered five volts coming out here because that's the limitation of the hardware. So that's kind of the why behind what you're seeing. So hopefully that video helped you out and give you a little bit more insight on why if you're using this guy, it's taken forever to charge your phone, especially if you have a larger phone with a bigger battery capacity. So let me know if you have any other questions or want me to test out a few different things. Now that I have the multimeter, it's pretty easy to test and compare the different setups. But before you take off, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, as we have multiple videos coming out per week to help you with repairs and improvements around your house. And we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.